Hi everyone, in each episode of this series, I will talk about one algorithm for 2D path planning for robotic applications. Here we will look at uh, how does Dextrust wor algorithm work step by step. So this is the map and in the, in the initializing step, we assign the g value for each node as infinite. Here are the obstacles in the map. The initializing is adding the starting node into open list or change it into the open state and also update its g cost into zero because remember our motion model moving the upward, downward, left and right will be cost of 10 and uh, to the diagonal direction will be 14 so now we are in the iteration 1 so in the open list we see which node has the smallest g cost and uh, apparently here we have only one node here and uh, the node uh, a4 has the smallest g cost 0 so we put this into the close list. Yeah, the interest node is A4 here. And uh, we update its neighbors. It has three valid neighbor here. We do not consider the space out of the map. And uh, for the first neighbor A3, we first change it into the open state and update its G cost. So it has only one neighbor has non-infinite G cost, which is A4. So the smallest uh, G cost for A3 is 0 plus 10, which is 10. And uh, we also update its parent node to be A4. And uh, we do the same thing for the B3 node. So we put it into open list and uh, update its G cost. It has two non-infinite neighbors, which is A3 and A4. And uh, come from A3, we'll result a G cost of 10 plus 10, which is 20. Or come from A4, which is 0 plus 14, which is 14. So the 14 will be smaller, we will use that one. So we update its parent to be A4 as well. And we do the same thing for B4. We put it into open list and update its G cost. And uh, it has three non infinite neighbors 0, 10, 14. And the smallest one will be 0 plus 10. Come from A4. So it is 10. And update its parent to be A4. So now we've done for the iteration one. And uh, we now we can now we can move to the next step. And uh, here in the open list, the node with the smallest uh, g value is a3 and uh, b3 with g value of 10. So we will explore these two nodes. So the interested nodes here are the a3 and uh, b4. So let's first do a3. We move it into close node, close list, and uh, update its neighbors. So we put A2 into open list and update its G cost. It can come from A3 with 10 or B3 with 14. And uh, the smaller one will be 10 plus 10, which is, which is 20. And uh, we update its parent to be A3. Because if it uses the path from B3, the path of G cost will be 14 plus 14, which is 28. It's larger. We do not use that. And uh, for B2, we move it into open list as well. And update its G cost. So it has three non-infinite neighbors, 20, 10, 14. So it has three options, either the 20 plus 10, or 10 plus 14 or 14 plus 10 and we can see the last two options will result into the same smaller g cost 24 
So we will use 24 and we can use either A3 or B3 as the parent for the B2 node. And now here I will use a I will use B3. Now we can move on to the next neighbor, the B3. But uh, we can see the is already in the best possible state for B3. And uh, similar to the other neighbors, all of them are in the best state already. So we can move on to the second interest node, B4. So we put it into the closed state and uh, check its neighbors. And uh, the only neighbor worth checking is, a, is C4 here, because other node, it will result into the same value as the current values. But of course, in your code, everything will run again on each of the neighbor. So we move the C4 into open list and update its G cost. It can come from B3 or B4. Come from B4 will have a G cost of 20, which is smaller than the 14 plus 14 option. And uh, we update its cost, its parent to be B4. So we, we finished the iteration 2, now we can move on to the next iteration, iteration 3. And now we can see the in the open list, the smallest G cost is 14 here with node B3. So we will explore B3 here. And uh, we put it into the closed list and uh, check its neighbors. It has these 7 neighbors. Of course, we will do the same examination for each of the node in the code, but here in this presentation, we will skip that part because all of the values will remain the same as the current state. So now we can move on to the next iteration, iteration 4. And in iteration 4, we, will, we have three open list nodes. And uh, the smaller smallest G cost is 20 with A2 and uh, C4. Explore the A2 and uh, C4. So now first do the A2, move it into close list and check its neighbors. The first one is A1. Open, we move it, we move it into the open state and update its G cost. The smaller one, the smaller option is 20 plus 10, which is 30. It's smaller than the 24 plus 14, which will result in 38. We do not want the large key cost. So the, and the parent for A1 is A2. And for the next neighbor, B1, we move it into the open list and update its key cost. We, it has three options, 30 plus 10, 20 plus 14, 24 plus 10. And the smallest one is from A2 or B2. And uh, it, the value is 34. And uh, here I will use B2 as its parent. You can use whichever you like. And uh, for the node C4, we move it into the closed list and update its neighbors. So for D3, we first move it into closed list and update its G cost. So it has only one option. The only one neighbor has non-infinite G cost, which has 20. So 20 plus 14 will be 34. And uh, its parent will be this as well, the, four, the C4. And uh, in node D4, we move it into open list first and update its G cost. It has two non-infinite neighbors, 34 or 20. And uh, apparently 20 plus 10 is smaller than, the, than another option. So update its parent to be C4. So now we've done with iteration 4. And uh, we move on to the iteration 5. In iteration 5, we first see which open list node has the smallest G cost. It's here, the B2, 24. 
So we will explore the neighbor of B2. So as I updated here, B2, and uh, we put it into the close list. And uh, the only one neighbor which is unexplored is C1. So let's do it and uh, move it into B into open and update the key cost. It has two options, third, 34 plus 10 or 24 plus 14. So the 24 plus 14 is smaller, which is 38, is smaller than, than the another option. So we update its parent to be this node, B2. And uh, of course in the code, other five neighbor will also be examined, but uh, the value will keep the same. So we skip that part in the in this presentation. Yeah, so now we've done with iteration five. And uh, move on to the next iteration, iteration six. Now in the open list, the smallest key cost is 30 at uh, A1 and uh, D4 node. So we are interested, interested in the A1 and the D4. So let's do A1 first. We move it into close list and check its neighbors. Here we do not need, we do not need to update any value here because all the neighbors have been in the best uh, solution. And uh, we do and for the node D4, we move it into close node and uh, check its neighbors. The neighbor D3 does not need to be updated. Or we can do it, but the value will keep the same. And uh, for E3, we first update into the open list and uh, update the key cost. The key cost uh, can come from 34 plus 10 or 30 plus 14. They will give the same result, 44. And uh, we can use either of them as a new parent which I will use the D4 here. For the another neighbor, E4, we move it into close, into open the open list and uh, update its key cost. It can come from 44 plus 10, 34 plus 14, or 30 plus 10. Apparently this is, 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 this is the best solution, so it's 14. And uh, its parent also updated to be D4. So now we've done with iteration 6. And in the next iteration, iteration 7, we have these nodes in the open list. And uh, the smallest G cost is 34 at uh, D3 and uh, B1. So we will explore the B1 and the D3. So first in the B1, we move it into the close list and update the neighbors. And uh, similar to before, the value, their values will not change. So we skip that part and uh, update the neighbor of D3. So we move D3 into close list and uh, we update the D2 node, so we put it into the open list and update its G cost. It has three options, 38 plus 14, or 34 plus 10, or 44 plus 14. And uh, we can see this solution is the best. So it's the G cost is 44. And uh, we update its parent to be D3, this node. For the node neighbor E2, we put it into open list and uh, update its key cost. It has three options, 44, 34, or 44. The best solution is 34 plus 14, which is 48. And uh, we update its parent to be D3. Now we've done with iteration 7. And uh, here you guys can see the 
target node, the D2 is already being explored. And actually, at this moment, we can stop the algorithm and uh, start ex extracting the path from the from this node to the starting node. But here, I will keep working on this until the target node is already in the close list. And uh, here. We can see the smallest G cost is 38, so we put it into close list and uh, update its neighbors and uh, put into open list and uh, the update G cost of this neighbor is 48, 38 plus 10, 48. And uh, now we have this value, this node left and uh, this is the smallest uh, one smallest g cost 40 so we put it into the close list but the neighbor will keep the same value as as right now and now the smallest g cost is 44 at uh, this node and this node so we will put this into the close list and update its neighbors so it's open and uh, 48 plus 10 or 44 plus 14 they will give the same same result so we update the g cost into 58 and the parent to d1 at this moment the target node is already in the closed list we are confident to extract the final path the go node which is d2 and uh, in the D in D two we can see its parent is D three, and uh, in D three the parent is C four, and uh, in C four the parent is B four, and uh, in B four the parent is A four, and we can check the A four is equal to the starting node. It means we have found a valid path from the starting node to go node, which is this list. Just to draw it, it's a path from this node to this node, this node, and this to finally here.